Now to illustrate the sending and receiving of messages between client and server, we will create a simple function to ping the server. Return to the basic network manager script. Create a new method called emit ping. We created a new dictionary type variable called data to store the message to be sent to the server. In date, create a new field called message and assign the desired message to be sent to the server. To send the message to the server we use the emit to server method. The first ping parameter indicates the identifier used on the server for the function that will handle this call. The second parameter is the message to be sent. Return to the basic server script to handle the ping message sent by the client. To listen to the message sent by the client, we simply use the on method of UDP client. The first parameter ping is the same identifier that we used to send a message in the emit to server method. The second parameter on receive ping is the signature of the method that will handle this call made by the client. Now we will create the method that will handle the ping call made by the client. This method receives a UDP event type parameter containing the packet sent by the client. The data sent by the client can be accessed through the vector pack contained in date. Now we will prepare a package containing a message to be sent back to the client as an answer. We define a field containing the identifier Pong to be used on the client and a second field called message containing the feedback message to be sent to the client. We declare a variable called response and concatenate the Pong identifier and the message in this variable. Create an empty byte type variable called msg. Now we convert our response package to bytes, using the getBytes method of the encoding class. To send the message to the client, we use the emit to client method. As the first parameter we send the message encoded in bytes, and as the second parameter the client's IP is provided by the data variable in any IP field. Return to the basic network manager script to handle the message that will arrive from the server. To listen to the message from the server, we will again use the on method, followed by the Pong identifier used by the server in sending the message, and the signature of the method that will be responsible for handling the message. Finally, we simply created the onPrintPong method to print the message from the server.
Go back to the Unity Editor, and we will create three buttons to connect the client, ping the server and start the server respectively. Create a new game object of type canvas to store the buttons. Now we will add the methods of the basic network manager and basic server classes to the respective on-click events of each button. Now let's test sending a ping message to the server. 